right, everybody, happy Tuesday. We are back here. On an inhale, let's raise those hands up over our head. Good to see everybody. Kind of wave back and forth with your hands. Remember, cardio is all supposed to be fun. We're just moving. There's no wrong way to do group X, the beauty of it. We just want to get that heart rate up. And now we're going to lean to the right side. Woo! It's like we're on a roller coaster ride here today. And to the left. Good job, everybody. And now let's bring those hands to a little swing in front of us. Nice, getting those shoulders going here. Let's focus on some shoulder rolls. Rolling the shoulders forward. And move them back like the wheels on the bus. Feels nice. These are some simple stretches you should do every day at 10 a.m. anyway, so this is perfect. <laughs> and now we can let those shoulders rest by our side, and we're going to paint some circles with our nose. Doing some nice neck rolls here. And reverse the direction. neck back to center. On an inhale, we are going to raise up our left arm up over our head, and then we're going to grab onto that right ear for a gentle stretch in that neck. If that's too much for you, you can always relax that left arm by your side and try to point those left fingertips down to the ground. Get a stretch here. Meet your body where it's at. Relax that arm down to your side. On an inhale, we're going to raise up our right arm. Grab that left ear and feel that nice stretch. I feel like neck stretches are the most underrated stretches. They make you feel so good after them. And relax that arm down to your side. And now, on an inhale, we're going to raise our chin to the ceiling. Exhale, chin to chest. This helps stretch the back of your neck here. Repeat that motion. Chin to ceiling, chin to chest. Continuing that movement. And now bring that neck back to center. And now we're just going to twist side from side. Focus it on moving from your core. For three, two, and one. Back to center. Now I'm going to move my right hand to the outside of my left thigh and grab onto the back of my chair with my left hand and look over that shoulder. If you can't grab onto the back of the chair, just look over that shoulder. And twist them back to center. Repeat the same movement on the other side. My left hand goes onto the outside of that right thigh. Grab onto the back of that chair with my right hand. And 
come back to center. Now in center, we're gonna focus on stretching our, our arms a little bit here. On an inhale, I'm gonna bring my left arm across my body and hook it up with my right arm, creating kind of a figure four. And let's get those wrists rolling like we're washing our hands.
and we're gonna bring that leg back to center. Now we're gonna kick out our left leg, ankle to the ground once again, leaning forward onto that right thigh. Continue to breathe.
And do the backstroke now. And now we're gonna go into some breast strokes. We're gonna be like frogs in the ocean. Hands go in front of you, then out to the side.
One, don't drop. We're gonna have those palms face the back of our wall. For 10. For five. Four. Three. Two. One. But they're not dropping yet. Bring them out in front of you. We're gonna do some shoulder taps here. For 10. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. And now we're gonna race the roof. For 10. Good job, everybody. Let's pick up the pace up there for 10. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Now lift up those feet off the chair. We're gonna flutter kick as we push out to the side for 10. Nine. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. But we're not done yet as we're flutter kicking. We're going to punch out in front of us across our body. Focus on engaging that core while we're here, too. And once again, always adapt the exercise to meet you where you are today. You can always drop those legs down for 10, 9, 8, 7, Six, five, four, three, two, one. And oh, we're bringing it down to a walk. Because we are walking on sunshine. You all can hear the music. Get those hands up in front of you. We're going to tap our legs out pretty fast. Get those arms just doing some arm circles if you're able to do so. If you're going to knock down like your coffee or anything, whew, we're not taking it that seriously. Take it out for some small arm circles. Now let's try one leg, one arm. Keep those legs bouncing. And now the other arm. And once again, both arms. It's almost harder to do it with one arm. So you just want to get that other arm lying up there with you. For three, two, one. Now we're just going to step on out to our side, keeping those arms at center to the left to the right, having a nice heel tap, giving our arms a little bit of a breather here, but not for long. Now as we kick on out to the side, I'm going to ask you to reach on down, engaging that core as you bend down, come back up to center, kick out, reach to the center. Woo. 
try to get a double kick in here. Faster. For three, two, and one. Back to that march. Bring those hands side to side. Grab some water if you need to. We're still going on with our cardio. But remember, meet your body where it is at. Now we're just going to do some shoulder taps out from our side. Allowing yourself to catch your breath. Okay. After we do some shoulder taps, we're going to work with our brain a little bit here. Shoulder tap, roof. Shoulder tap, roof. Shoulder tap, roof. Now we're going to go roof, shoulders, knees. Roof, shoulders, knees. Feel that nice burn. Oh, I messed up. <laughs> For three, two, and one. Back to that march. Like the rule is for group exercise, as long as you're moving, you are not doing it wrong. Now we're gonna work a little bit on our core right here. So if you're able to do so, I'm gonna invite you to lift up your leg and clap underneath it. If that's not where your body's wanting you to go today, simply clap above it. If you don't wanna wake up anybody in your house, a fake clap in front of it. So we're just gonna lift up our leg, engage with that core, and clap from side to side. Two, 
can swim it again. We gotta cool down after that. Maybe a little bit of a breaststroke here. <laughs> Do a little frog. Feel the beat out a little. Go side to side, breaststroke. Nice little core. Twist here. For three, two, and one. Let's get our drumsticks going. Pretend you're playing the drums in front of you. Bring it up. To the right. To the left. Down low. We're 
gonna push out and then bring them back in. And we're gonna begin 20. Shake your arms out a little. They deserve a little shake after those exercises. Okay, so now we we did it to our sides. We did it going up. And now we're gonna wanna do some of these, extending them out to your side, doing some flies here. So if you have your band, put that underneath your feet and then just pull up to one side. Those of you with household objects, we're just gonna pull them on up. Bring them down. We're gonna do 20 here. You wanna make sure your arms are as parallel as they can be. So we're gonna do 20. 19, continuing to breathe. The power of breath and lifting is pretty big. 17, 16, visualize yourself pushing your, yourself up through your breath. 14, 13, 12, telling yourself to slow down your way down. 11, 10, 9, 8, feel the burn, 7, 6, Thank you. 
Try to slow it down. Nine. together. So we're just going to cool down a little bit before you move on with your day. On an inhale, raise those hands up above you, pushing those shoulders back. Ooh, taking a few breaths here. Now we're going to drop our left arm and lean on over to that left side, feeling a nice stretch in our side. And now we're gonna bring our arm that's down back up to center. Same thing on the other side. Dropping that right arm, leaning on over. Feeling the beat still. Bring that arm back up to center. Allow your hands to float down to your side. Do some neck rolls here. Woo, painting a circle with that nose. This is always a good one to do throughout the day. And reverse the direction. We hold so much tension in our neck. It's good to loosen it on up. Bring that neck back to center. We're gonna give ourselves a big squeeze. Woo, congrats, we did it. Give yourself a nice squeeze. On an inhale, we're gonna raise up those elbows. Feel like a nice stretch underneath our arm. And breathe here. And relax those arms. Now it's time for an awkward hug. We're gonna get that opposite elbow on top. It feels really awkward. We all have our natural way of doing that. So inhale, raise up. And a lot of elbows to fall back down. Now we've worked out our arms a little bit, so we probably want to stretch those a little bit more. We're going to bring our left arm across our body, hook it on up with that right arm. We're trying to extend our fingertips out to the side, pulling back. And 
then reverse the sides. Bring my right arm across the body, hooking it up with my left, and rolling that wrist around. Relax those arms. Do a final stretch here. We're gonna bring our right hand onto the outside of that left thigh. Twist that chair once more. And rotate, coming back to center, repeating the same movement on the other side. A nice spinal twist. Left hand goes onto the outside of that right thigh. Grab hands the back of the chair, just looking over that shoulder. And come back to center. We're going to kick out our right leg, heel to the ground, leaning forward on that left foot. One last stretch here. those feet out onto the other side we go.